I get cast in it. Uh, I know I got the job on June the 4th. Um, I decided to go to Chicago for a little trip and just because my mother had passed away May 13th of that year and I wanted to see the city and sort of, you know, kind of have not, not so much closure but be there again. And uh, we started on July the 5th. It was a Wednesday. Our first episode was shot July the 14th of 1978. And I, uh, and I knew Jeff. I knew Jeff. Jeff was still negotiating his contract, but it looked like it was definitely going to come through. Jeff was already a huge star because Greece was just a phenomenon at that point. The film of Greece had come out. Um, and I had seen Judd on Broadway in Chapter 2 at Christmas time and was just in awe of his talent. I mean, just could not believe what I was watching when he was in chapter two. And so I felt like, oh my God, I'm gonna work with John Ash. You know, he's so incredible. Uh, Andy Kaufman, I had seen at the Improv in New York City where I was with a bunch of friends. We were all doing Grease at the time. We went to see, this guy gets up in this suit and he starts reading from The Great Gatsby and then keeps reading and you're tittering and you're thinking, okay, fine, when's the next comedian? Then he gets to chapter two and people start throwing dinner rolls and straws and napkins at him. And then he has a complete breakdown, sobbing. And then just when the audience was like, this is so uncomfortable, why did you throw that at him? You know, that kind of thing with your boyfriend. Uh, he's weeping, weeping, you can't hear a pin drop. And he turns up stage he whips off from the side of his pants, tape all the way down to d d expose studs. He does a twist of his hair and he turns around and does the most brilliant Elvis you have ever seen in your entire life. And everyone is screaming and shouting and, and went crazy. So I had seen that the year before I got cast on Taxi. When I walked in and saw that he was there, I thought, oh my gosh, this guy is a genius. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, of course he's playing Latka, et cetera. Danny, I had recognized from uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and thought, this is unbelievable. This is, I was giddy with excitement. I could still tell you exactly what I was wearing that day. Um, what were you wearing that and, day? Oh, I was, wearing, uh, I was wearing kind of a flowered skirt with sort of a purple blouse on. And it was, you know, it was the very first read through. And I was so excited to be there. And Randall Carver, I knew from having taken uh, Harvey Lembeck's uh, improv class with him starting the year before, Rob, uh, Robin Williams, um, uh, John Ritter, Randy, Randall Carver, a bunch of other people were all in that class. Wow. And so I knew him from that as well. So I knew Jeff, I knew Judd, I knew uh, uh, Andy, I knew Randall Carver, I knew all of them. Um, and then Tony? there was Tony. <laughs> and Tony, the first time I saw him before we walked in the door, he was sunning himself outside with his shirt off and he was lying down and I thought, oh my God, he was so adorable. So, you know, so that was it. I mean, we, you know, we became friends like right away. Um, but uh, the, I just remember sitting there just, just levitating, just could not believe it. And just thinking my mother arranged this, you know, this was her dream for me to be in show business and to do really well in show business and, you know, get on television and everything else. And I thought she did it. So did you feel like the class, the, the cast clicked right away when you guys right started? Away. The cast, the cast was magical from the get go. Everybody was really, you know, I, my heart was pounding because I thought, okay, because there were all these, you know, a couple scenes before me and then I come in and he's, and Danny, Danny says something like, oh, you know, all this other stuff, you know, he says, oh, you're, uh, he says, yes, may I help you? Blah, blah, blah. He says, wait, you're a cab driver? You know, go sit over there. And I say, what's the matter? What's, what's the matter? Don't they feed you in there? You know? And so, um, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Uh, and so it was, and when I got a laugh, you're, with your first laugh in a sitcom, when you go out on stage, especially if they've been laughing at the other people, you kind of, it, it, you, it, you, all of a sudden you feel like, thank goodness, you know, I'm home.